Well, even though the Packers were handed their first loss of the season, playoff fever is still catching, and no one is happier about that than local businesses catering to the playoff crowd. Fox 11's Kelly Schlicht has more on the dollars and cents of the Packers' playoff picture. As Packers fans celebrate one of the few cheerworthy moments against the Chiefs, they say they're shaking off the season's first loss and looking ahead to celebrating the playoffs. We have tickets, so we're excited for the playoffs. Oh, when we come up for the games, we spend the whole weekend and hit all the, yeah, hit whatever we can. I will be there. Even if I have to work, I'll come after work. I mean, I, I love it. I go to tailgate parties. Fans at Champions Bar and Grill say they're expecting to drop a lot of cash during their football revelry. It's going to bring in, the economy's going to go up. They're going to bring in uh, more of a bigger fan base. I mean, with the Packers playing the way they're playing right now. They're just going to keep bringing in the money. The staff at Champions say they can't even put a number on how much their business will be increasing with a postseason game coming to Green Bay. So it's all week long that we are more busy, and it's definitely, it's very helpful to everyone, all of our employees, everyone in town, all the local bars. It's, it's really helpful to everybody. This parking lot may be empty on an away game Sunday, but the folks at Kroll's say once the Packers playoff game comes back to Lambeau, the party will get started and go through all of January. Last year it was busy the whole month of January, and I think this year it's going to be even busier. Kroll's management says on home game days it has outdoor tents with food and drinks, but it hasn't ironed out its postseason tailgating party plans yet. Fans say no matter who is hosting the bash, they'll be ready to party near Lambeau. That's where all the, the, woo, the hype is, you know, that's like here, you know, I mean, it's, it's just great. There's nothing like it. Now the fans just hope the pack can live up to the hype. In Ashwaubenon, on Kelly Schlicht, Fox 11 News. The Packers right now have a bye the uh, first weekend and then will host the playoff game the following weekend after that. They need one more win or a San Francisco loss, as Drew explained, to play at home throughout the playoffs. The last time the Packers hosted a playoff game was in January of 2008.